Okay, I'm getting ready to do an art show, so I thought I would show you guys how I deckle a print. And uh, these prints are done on watercolor paper, and a deckled edge is that tattered edge look. And I'll show you an example here. Here's one I just got done doing. And you can see what the edge looks like on this, how it's kind of tattered. And that's kind of the look that we're going for. So I'll show you guys how to do this. I start with something heavy, like a nice big piece of glass. You can use a ruler. But the main thing is the edge of the table that you're doing this on needs to be a sharp edge. I set this up so there's only an eighth of an inch of the page sticking out that I want to decal. And then you line up your top piece with the edge of the table right here so it's absolutely flush. Okay, you can see I have it completely flush. Now this can be done with a ruler like a yardstick or something like that, but in this case I just happen to have this piece of glass. So it sandwiches the print perfectly and you have this edge sticking out. Now I like to trim the print down so I have at least a little bit of paper to work with on this side. And it's just a matter of pinching and then tearing up. Just like that. And that's all you gotta do and you gotta keep doing this for a little bit. And once you start to get a tail on the top, then you grab this hand Hold the tail and then keep going. You just keep tearing. So you pinch and tear up. And you want to tear up, not down, because that pulls just a little bit of the emulsion side away to give you that deckled edge. And this is the same way you treat watercolor prints too. And it's just little tiny pinches as you go down the line. And this does cause havoc on your wrist after about three, so I don't recommend you do more than three at a time. These particular prints are 18 by 24. Okay, now let's go ahead and rotate it. And the same concept, I want to have about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch sticking out and I want it to be uniform and I want to make sure that these are perfectly level with each other right here that's the key and that you have two very sharp edges on top of each other so if you use a ruler use clamps and it's just pinching and tearing up in this case I'm rotating my wrist counterclockwise. And this can be done with fine tooth papers, but watercolor paper definitely gives you the best edge. Fine tooth papers have a tendency to actually tear a little too clean. Make sure you have enough pressure on the print that it won't move at all because if it moves it could be catastrophic. But I have a really heavy piece of plate glass on here so I'm not really worried about the print moving. That's what the edge of this actually looks like. So there you have it. One perfectly deckled print. Now I've got nine more to do for this show. <laughs> My arm's going to fall off.